Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to jump start your Allegro bus. This is a class A motorhome. Customer has a dead battery, called us out to jump start it. I'm gonna be using my Noco GB150 box and hopefully we can get this thing started up. So I'll spin the camera around and show you how I get it done. All right, so this is a, what, 2017? 2015. This is a 2015 Allegro bus. So, made by Tiffin Motorhomes. And our batteries for this are located in the back, usually behind the passenger side wheel well. We'll open up this compartment back here and Usually there will be some batteries that slide out on a tray. Hopefully well, they don't slide those out don't slide out. All right, well they don't slide out, but these are our engine batteries here. Yeah. Okay, and, and that is, that's positive. That's positive. And, so and, and so one. that one is going. Yeah, said all I have to do is hook so, up to the positive. So they're just hooked together. Okay, so it's not create, they're not positive to negative and right. negative to positive generating a 24 volt system. It's just positive to right. positive and negative to negative giving a 12 volt system, yeah, just more battery. One battery. Right, exactly. So for those of you watching that have never jump started one of these what you want to look for is your positive cable you want to trace that and make sure it's going to another positive cable because sometimes if this cable is going from positive to a negative well that would mean that you have a 24 volt system and you do not want to jump start that with a regular 12 volt box because it will not jump start it properly and you'll blow some fuses and you'll get yourself in deeper water than you want to be so check these before you jump to it because not all of them are the same my experience is almost every motorhome is completely different than the last one so do your due diligence check everything so you don't fry anything and then our other positive is over here and he's got a battery tender here so we're going to move that kind of out of the way to get to our negative so we'll go positive here and negative here always hook up your positive connection first and then your negative so i'll set this up here like so we'll hook up our positive like so and then our negative in here okay so now that we've got that hooked up our box should give us a reading which it is not usually on this gb150 box i'm using has a digital display here which will bring up a reading if if it even acknowledges that it's attached to a battery at this point as far as the box is concerned it could be plugged up to a piece of wood it's not getting any voltage i mean it's kind of turning the v light on right here which is the indicator for voltage you know like if i disconnected this that v would go off so that lets you know yeah, this, it's not that disconnects the batteries oh yeah but so when i plug in to the negative down here you can see the v light comes on on the box but not a digital display to tell us how many volts we have so we know for sure the batteries are completely dead go ahead and turn this box on should jump up to about 11 volts there we go got it up to 12 and we'll give that about two minutes of sitting try to kind of cook those batteries a little bit with some juice now the new noco gb155 box uh that one you got to jump start within one minute of turning the power on i don't really like that box i do have it but i don't like it I prefer the older GB150 box. It seems to do better on these bigger buses. Now I have a, uh, a button in there that I can push that helps the house batteries. Yeah. yeah. But my house batteries are like five or six years old, so they, they're they're not helping much. They're not, they're not helping much. Right? right. Yeah, that's typical of it. Um, we can uh, go ahead and give it a try if you want. 
Uh, definitely use the house batteries to assist us, you know, because any little bit that we can help get, you know, will help. And also, uh, even though it's fuel injected, I want you to, you know, press the gas if the engine does turn over to tell the computer to give it some more gas, okay? Yep. Kind of like an old carburetor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze this positive terminal i'd like to squeeze both of these uh not terminal but this positive clamp i'd like to squeeze both of them to get a better connection but i gotta film this for you guys as well so let's see. yeah squeezing the clamps you know just gives you a better connection all right and so we got the vehicle started i'll go ahead and check the alternator output you can see we've got 14 volts it's bouncing down to 12 but it should even out somewhere around 13.8 to 14.1 see so it keeps bouncing down to 12 spiking up to 15.4. Uh, not really liking that, but you know, if it can live somewhere in that 13.6, 13.8 range up to 14.1, that'll be acceptable. But that 12.8 it keeps going to is concerning. Alright guys, so this is uh your on off switch so you definitely want to have that in the green when you're trying to start the vehicle you don't want to have it turn to the red because that means you're not going to get any power from your battery to your to your vehicle Let's connect my box turn the power off so i don't have any you know positive uh power coming through that that uh jumper cable don't want to accidentally touch something and and arc it out and I'm gonna re remove my negative and I'll put my caps back on. You wanna keep those covered at all times. And then we've got our negative over here. Go ahead and cover that guy. Get that guy down in there and I'll put this guy's little battery tender thing back in. All's well that ends well. We're done in the uh, engine compartment. And he's gonna go ahead and disconnect his short power. And Okay guys, so in order to, these are your house batteries here, right? So this is for your refrigerator and, and all the awning stuff and things like that, right? But this will also help in assisting to jumpstart your vehicle. So if your engine batteries are dead, you can use your house batteries to help jumpstart the vehicle. I always, you know, suggest doing this because any little bit of help you can get to jumpstart it will definitely help. And I want to show you guys where the switch is for that. That just slides back in. Switch is right here in the middle one. Okay, guys. It so auxiliary power up. The one that says auxiliary start. That's your. Uh, button for the uh, house batteries to help assist in the jump start of this vehicle so you want to hit this button you want to put it on auxiliary start you want to see it light up when it lights up you know that you're getting assistance from your house batteries to your engine batteries so that's that's a, an important thing there to help you start it all right guys so as you can see we got this one running we're good to go i'm gonna go ahead and head off to the next call all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye now.